Hi, welcome to my channel. I have to share this amazing, beautiful message for the month of April. Um, it's going to be surrendering for blessings. And that's really what we're doing. Um, in our monthly reading, there was a lot of completion, a lot of purging inside and out, releasing the old, completing things, leaving behind things. And I have to tell you, the most beautiful message came through today, this morning. And um, I just have to tell you how I came up on this. You know, sometimes spirit tries to talk to you and you're a little thick. You know, it takes you a while to get what they're trying to say to you. <laughs> and I almost have to laugh. But then when it floods me that I understand fully, you almost want to cry. It's so beautiful. Um, what happened was I posted the monthly reading. There was a lot of completions and everything else. So I was thinking what car additional cards I want to use for this month specifically because we are releasing a lot. And I immediately thought of the surrender cards, meaning what are we letting go of? What are we completing? What are we purging exactly? I want the cards to fall out of the deck. And then I was also thinking in the monthly reading, we're heading to such blessings. I want to do a pure blessings message, another video you know, with just blessings. And these are all new ideas, you know, I was just thinking about. And as I was thinking about how I'm going to do these two separate videos, all of a sudden I got the full message that, oh my God, no, you do it together because literally what we're surrendering is opening the way for these blessings. We're surrendering for blessings. Literally, that's what we've been doing the last couple of months, weeks leading up to this. We're letting go and completing a lot, surrendering, and in come the blessings. That's what's coming up in this new stage of energy is the blessings. So I'm not going to do separate videos. I'm going to do it together. And um, I'm not even saying it eloquently, what I got from Spirit. And I'm so sorry for the translation because it's not translating. <laughs> but the amazing, I almost wanted to cry because we are literally... Everything that you've been struggling to complete, to purge, to end, to move on from, whether it's inside your mind or your heart or on the outside that left or got closed or isn't working and that you're completing, um, all of the surrendering that we've been doing is leading the way to these blessings coming in. And that's why they told me to do this reading together and to try and explain what I just got. Um, all right, so let's pull the power of surrender first, and let's see. I want to um, have spirit communicate to us. We've been doing all this work. We're definitely, you know, in our monthly reading that was just posted, there's so much that we've let go of that we're um, purging inside and out so we can move on. Like I keep saying, lighter, freer, faster, quicker. Um, this has been all meant, and even if it's been difficult finding a way to the news of it all, it's opening us up to these blessings that are going to be coming in. And um, like I said in the monthly, it's like you got to create a vacuum of space for good to come in. you got to declutter your mind, heart, your life, what you're working on, all that. So that takes a lot of work and a lot of energy. And we're to know that this surrendering and letting go and completing things, it's not all in vain and blessings are coming in. And we are to surrender surrender to the release and the completions because the blessings are coming in. The blessings are coming in. The blessings are on their way. And the blessing cards will show us also the meaning behind what we're surrendering. Like what spiritually why it was so necessary. What's the positive point of surrender? Like literally why? <laughs> you know, what was the literal point? So let's first find out well, what was all this purging? What was all this surrendering? What were we letting go of? What was creating that vacuum that we so needed? What did the opening, like, what did we have to clear out? So that's what I want to get from these cards. What did we have to clear out so badly um, as we go into April to finally get blessings coming our way? What did we have to clear out? What did we have to let go of? What did we have to let go of? What did we have to get let go of? Ooh, ooh, okay. Oh my gosh, surrender to joy. Isn't this fabulous? Surrender to joy. That's what we need to do in April. Look at this. Look how free she is. You know, in my monthly reading, I kept on saying, feel like the fool, the fool leaping off a cliff, feeling free, feeling alive, feeling a new lightness. Surrender to joy. Oh my gosh, this is it, people. 
a key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and easy times. Keep surrendering, surrendering to more joy. You know what's been coming up in my readings over and over was like dream bigger, feel like the fool and the empress, and especially that fool call card. It was like feel like the fool, surrender to more joy, let more love in. That was all about love coming in in April, this new aliveness coming in in April, this new love for yourself and others, this new freeness. She's flying through the air. So we're supposed to surrender to more joy, and that's probably why we had heard so much and complete so much is to open ourselves up to this new aliveness, this new love. I can't believe this card fell out. This is totally reaffirming the monthly message for April, if you haven't seen it yet. And also the weekly reading for the last week of March was literally feel like the fool, the fool, like leaping off a cliff and new starts, new directions. Feel it, surrender to joy. What else? Let's see if we can get another card. Or maybe that's it. Maybe that's the essence of the entire thing. Ooh, I know this one's good. Ah, yes. Surrender resentments. Yep, and that's what frees us up to be lighter and um, freer. Surrender all those resentments to others and also to yourself. And that's been coming up a lot. That's We've been closing out a lot of things that we've been playing in our minds and hearts that have held us back before. Remember in the weekly reading and the monthly reading, it was like dream bigger. There's no time to have given to insecurities or doubts or fears. It's also to let go of resentments with other people that bog you down. Remember in the fool card, you're supposed to get rid of all your baggage and feel like the fool with that little bag going through life again, feeling like the fool every day of your life, not carrying that heavy baggage with you and surrender to that joy. Amazing. Holding on to resentments only poisons you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward toward positive situations in your life. Yes, keep moving forward toward positive situations. We've closed so much out. We release so many resentments to ourselves and others. And we're truly surrendering to this new sense and freedom of joy. Lighter, faster, quicker. I'm telling you, this is such confirmation of everything I've been feeling and getting. The messages the last week or so, this is what all the, the endings and the purging has been about. To get back to this more joy, this new life, this new aliveness, this feeling of lighter and freer. Um, really, oh my gosh, this wanted to come out. Oh my gosh. I chill. Surrender to success. Yeah, I mean, once you surrender to joy and let go of all these relations, uh, Resentments, this is where we're heading. Surrender to success. The door to success is wide and open. There's a clearing here. You're ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into, no way. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. Is she not taking a leap? Was this not what we've been saying and getting for the last week or so? I mean, please check out my last weekly reading for March and also the monthly reading for April. This is what it's all about. Take that leap, surrender to joy. Leap into exciting new possibilities, new passions, feeling alive again, feeling lighter and freer and just flying through the air because you released all these, you surrendered so many resentments. Things that didn't work out, projects that didn't work out, people that didn't work out, relationships that didn't work out, um, resentments you might have had, and also within your own mind and heart. It's like just surrender to joy again. Be that fool again. Lay down that heavy baggage and and feel the joy and a new aliveness and lightness because of the work you've done to get here and surrender to success. Oh my gosh. I'm going to end it there. This is this was our what we were surrendering. Um, in the other reading, I'm going to just do pure blessings. Um, I want to leave this as is. Okay, so this was what we let go of. And um, have a great April and no doubt about it. We did the work. We surrendered resentments. We feel a new lightness in our being. We're surrendering to more joy in our lives. Let that love in. Just like in my April monthly reading, more love for yourself, more love for others, more love for your life. And you're surrendering surrendering to success. You're going for new things. You're going for your worth. You're going for, you know, you have this new energy now free from closing out all these resentments that you can go and surrender to more success in your life. You're free to do that now. 
this is such an amazing magical time that's happening right now it's going to feel so much lightness and newness and new aliveness i'm telling you we're in for a good april so have a great month and check out my other video well where i'll do the pure blessings but again this has been all about surrendering to blessings it really is blessings all right so check out my other video i'm going to post it in a minute take care bye bye